Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is going to be part of the Creators Helping Creators series that I'm making. And in this one here, I want to talk about a funny little statistic called average number of views per viewer, right? So let's go ahead and we're in YouTube Studio. So let's slide down here, here to Analytics. We're going to go over to the fourth tab over called Build an Audience, and I'm bringing your attention to this average views per viewer. When I click on this, the graph is going to turn to a line, and this one here goes back 28 days. Now I've already opened up a custom period of time and I want to go take a look at that and explain a couple of things. This is a funny statistic because this one here demonstrates kind of the story of the evolution of what was going on with my channel. And it may be important to your channel too and you might understand some things that are going on. Especially down the road if people come into the program, they come into YouTube or people decide they want to put a serious effort into their YouTube, what they might expect to see and this graph will demonstrate that rather clearly. If we look back here, we're going to see February 20th, if we recall, that's the last day of monetization. On that day, my channel earned 20 cents, okay? And then the next day that I got re-monetized and approved for the YouTube uh, program, YouTube Partner Program, was July 31st of 2018, and I made 20 cents. So my last day of monetization, I made 20 cents, and when I first day of re-monetization, I made 20 cents. Painfully ironic, right? But what I want to point out here is there's... Um, I was hardcore networking with people because I only had 208 subscribers when 4K, 1K hit thing. So I was really, you know, swimming upstream without a paddle kind of thing. So I really needed the hardcore network to find people that I could network with as a sus subscriber base, as a core solid base to get to the thousand subscribers. So in uh, January and February, I'm already hardcore networking. By April, by April 1st, I had stopped, okay? Because I saw that in my opinion, I was going to get to the 1,000 subscribers. So rather than hardcore networking to get more people subscribed to my channel of, as of other creators and everything all in the same boat trying to get the job done, I decided to shift my focus from getting new subscribers to supporting the network of people that I've already connected with. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So initially, because I only had 208 subscribers and I needed 1,000 or more, as soon as I got to the point where I figured, okay, organically, I will end up with over a thousand subscribers. Let me start supporting the people hardcore that I was networking with. So my, my, my focus shift from acquiring new uh, subscribers who are also creators to actually supporting the creators I was already connected with. And that's what this area is right here. Because if we look at my earned revenue, we can see the 4K, 1K period. It's right here and it's painfully obvious, right? So there's my last day right there uh, at my 20 cents. And here's my first day back and the 20 cents, right? So we can see that the, the, uh, stat, you know, the numbers right here on the other chart are relatively normal. And then they kind of go crazy and settle down. Let's go look at that again. They're kind of normal. They kind of go crazy right here in this section right here, and then they settle down. But this is July 31st uh, over here, right? So we see things settle down between like this two and this two over here. Things settled down, right? Um, and what was that all about? That's because a lot of people were creators helping creators, helping me out. They wanted to see me get to the 4,000 hours of watch time, and a lot of people were helping me out when we got there. And because I uh, had the 4,000 hours of watch time, had the 1,000 plus subscribers at that point, and I was continuing to make more videos and people were finding them and watching them, then um, I was able to maintain the 4,000 hours and continue to grow from there and with subscribers as well. But that's the kind of thing I want to point about because I, I always promise from day one, when this whole thing hit, I promised everybody in my videos that if I see evolution, if I see things changing and evolving, I would share that information with you because my, my idea is that if I see it and I can demonstrate it to you and then you see that kind of thing happening in your channel, it takes up a lot of frustration, aggravation and, and stuff like that and just removes it. So you don't have to be stressed out or anything else because it's normal. This is what you can expect probably to happen. And really in all honesty, I think this sort of kind of thing doesn't really matter what kind of channel you have or how fast or slow your growth is gonna happen. It's really gonna happen the same kind of way. You're gonna see that you're gonna be hardcore networking. Some things are gonna be happening. When you see that you're gonna to get to the 1,000 subscribers and above kind of thing, then you're gonna see a whole lot, you're gonna focus on those people who focused on you, right? A whole lot of people were helping you out. You're gonna be helping out a whole lot of people. Things are gonna be happening for everybody during that period of time. And you're all gonna see this kind of a bubble happen 
And then as we know, oh, okay, oh, we got there. Okay, we're going to get there. Things are going to happen. Uh, we're going to have our 4,000 hours and our 1,000 plus subscribers. Things will settle back down. And then they continue to settle back down to the normal organic growth. Now, remember, I told you back in November of 2018, I started noticing things were normal. So let's look about this. Above this point, you can see that that's when things really start settling down very well in through 2019 up until today. And that's what I had been noticing to where what it's really demonstrating to me because I didn't understand this particular chart until recently that this is the organic growth period of time. I hardcore networked. Then I supported the other people who I had networked with. Then things started settling down and then I started obtaining organic growth. And that's what we really need. It's great to grow our channels fast and furious, but we don't want to be like that rising star that becomes a shooting star that gets burned out and goes away. We want to be able to uh, obtain sustainable growth and be able to uh, meet the needs and requirements of our audience. And that's what we're all about. Trying to keep growing, keep on going, keep on growing, getting the job done every day, every way. And that's really what it's all about. But this is kind of a funny little statistic um, that actually was able, I was able to demonstrate because I was monetized before 4k, 1k hit thing and, uh, hit, and then I was re-monetized and this, and on my particular channel just overlays that particular fact. So we can clearly see what happens, how it happens and pretty much why it happens. All right. So I just wanted to share that with everybody because like I say, I promise that when I see evolutionary processes in the channel, I will try to do the analysis prove up what it is that I'm seeing and then share that with you. So that if you notice those kind of things with your channel, you'll understand what's going on and everything's perfectly fine. And in fact, you're growing very well. All right. So that's going to wrap it, uh, that up for this video. Uh, don't forget to give me that thumbs up, like this video, make a comment below. Let me know you came by to say hi. And until, uh, oh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. I very much appreciate the growth on the network and I appreciate that. Uh, until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.